So, you want to make YouTube videos? Well, you've come to the right place. So, if you've ever thought about, I want to start YouTube, I don't know where to go, I don't know where to start, uh, this video will be everything that you need to get started, the basics, the lowdown, let's get it. So first of all, this is just, just for display reasons, the tool that I use to record, the tool that we're using right now to record my screen and everything is called Streamlabs. OBS uh, Streamlabs. So I used to use just OBS, but Streamlabs OBS is just so much better. Um, it's an all-in-one live streaming app. It looks like this. As you can see, we're currently recording you right now. So what you do is you load the program up. Well, first you download it. Download it, install it on your PC. Um, and then you can record your desktop. You can record anything you want on your screen. You've got different ways that you can add things in. What I will do is I will give you another video if you want that on sort of the breakdown of how I use it and what I do um, using. I use it mainly for streaming, but then I also use it to uh, record videos. So this is what I use to do that with the actual program that most people won't be using. I use Wondershare Filmora 9. Most people will use stuff like Sony Vegas and stuff like that, but that's not a free software. Um, I tried this one out for free first because it was a free, free editing software. Um, and what I found was that it was just really easy to use, so I then ended up paying for it. So this is Filmora 9. This is, I'll, I'll load it up for you now and you'll see how it works. What it will do is it gives you a really easy way of just sort of clipping together things. So if I go with, so you can see here, look, I made my, my silly duck video there, my self haircut there, um, some of my montages, etc. So you, you choose what aspect ratio you want. I always have it on 16.9 widescreen. And this is the basic overlay of the actual program. So what you can do then is when you've recorded something, like we are recording now, the files that you will have will save into a folder. So what you will do is you'll be able to choose one of them that you've done and import the media files. So if we wanted to do it with something like Call of Duty, uh, we can just we click it and I'll give you an example here. You'd import the media file in and then if you wanted to actually import it into the actual file, you'd click there. Uh, I always match to media, so it's just easier to edit. And then you've, you've got your, your raw footage that you can go through and um, be able to sort of use when and as you wish. So there's lots of different things you can do. You can change the speed of the play. You can right click on where the cut is and you've got lots of different options. Again, I'll do another video if you wish um, on how to use this or how I use this and then you can obviously save your projects lots of different things like audio you can get uh, stock audio you can get titles uh, transitions effects different sort of elements on the screen multiple screens playing so it's really good it's really good um, and so what you can also then do is what I do here is, is a program called audacity uh, free audio software as you can see I'm using it right now to actually record this voiceover while talking to you with the overlay and what that allows you to do is if you record your video as we are doing here and you also record your audio at the same time I've synced it at the start with a clap or a click and you can then just import your audio straight in but you can clean it up if there's any imperfections so what you can do is if we'd stop the audio you can then come into the program uh, get rid of sort of any high pitch noises you can clean it up you can add some compression to the vocals make them sound better again we'll do a video if you want that on how to use audacity to make your voice sound better um, so that is pretty much the quick introduction onto how to on how to sort of get started on YouTube the other thing I'd recommend is a camera currently I'm only using a desktop webcam um, it's a 1080p quality, so it's not the best quality, but it does its job. Um, if you have a sort of external camera that you can use, you can connect that up to your computer and use that as well, and that will give you a better quality of recording. And then you just take that um, audio and the video, put them together using Filmora. You, you don't need to use this, it's just what I use. And uh, then you can get started. Then you just select files, and once you've uh, made your video, you can upload it, and next thing you know, you're a YouTuber. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, let me know what you want me to help you with if you do need that, and I will be, uh, I will be back with you with another video very soon. Hope this has helped, and I look forward to helping some of you out very soon. Peace out.